We're here with uh, Peter Pollock, head coach for the Southwest Metro Pirates, after their easy victory versus uh, Toowoomba Mountaineers. How was the game? Yeah, a bit, bit scratchy. We um, came good down the stretch, but uh, we had some pretty ugly parts of it. But we were, um, yeah, we were pretty solid down the down the last part of the game. So it was good. good you've win. had you've had an up and down. Um, Run to the season, a really strong start to the season, coupled by a couple of losses. Yeah. Uh, how how do you think the momentum is going towards the playoffs? Yeah, we're we're not. We still haven't hit our straps. Like we haven't played a good, you know, 40 minutes all the way through. We, we're capable of playing uh, really quality basketball, and then then we get a little bit uh, shaky at points. So. Um, we needed that win, that, that sort of gets us um, back on track a little bit. Excuse me. Um, I think, uh, you know, it, we really need to, to take it to Rocky and Mackay and, and make a good showing there if we've got any chance at all, I think. You and uh, South, uh, Gold Coast are actually fighting for a second spot. Yeah. Um, what do you think will be the, the edge between you guys and them? Ha despite the fact that you guys have uh, lost the matchup. Yeah, um, they got us, well, that sort of derailed our season when they, uh, they got us at their home court. Um, and they got us pretty good, so um, at the end of the day, we just got to keep focused on what we're doing and try and, try and get uh, you know, that full 40 minutes of quality basketball. And, you know, you, know, you, don't, you don't know, we've got uh, Mackay and Rocky next weekend. Uh, on the road, which is tough, um, and then Maroochydore for the home game. I think Gold Coast have got uh, Brisbane, and uh, they got Northside tomorrow, and Toowoomba again, I think. So we really need them to drop a game uh, or two because uh, that, that Kai Rocky trip, it's tough. Yeah. Um, you've had a um, import duo of uh, Kenny Barnes and Robert Lippman that yeah. replaced your. Uh, Steve Broom and Zach Carter. Yeah. Um, you have a core of players. How has that uh, whole core um, yeah, played? Pretty good. We're um, we're capable. We say we, we've got good depth, um, and we when, when you see us play with energy, we can play. We can play with any team, or we know we can play with any team. You know we've. You know, we lost to Cairns by seven last week, and um, you know, we got smashed on the boards, 46 to 29 or something. We lost, and we missed 11 free throws, and we lost, lost by seven. So we know we're up there amongst those teams. You know, it's rich. There's not really a team that we've played so far that we're not. We know we can't compete with. It's it's whether we can put it together on, the, on that one given night. You know? so we'll we'll just keep working at it. We've been making some improvements over the last two weeks, I guess. Um, particularly Kenny and his rebounding. Um, the first half of the season he was he was struggling, and, and I think the last three or four games he's sort of gone eight, nine, eight, nine rebounds per game. So um, you know, we just got to keep. Keep making those little improvements and those those losses to the wins. We'll see. We'll see next weekend. Should you beat Gold Coast for that second spot, you're most likely to face uh, Northside. Do you think you have the ability to beat them and get into the four? Yeah, yeah. We can beat anyone. Uh, and we, we know that, but we, there's there's bits and pieces of our game that we we not executing that we have to we have to take care of. You know, we, if we do that, we're good. Okay, we wish you all the best. Thanks, Chris. And thank you very much. Cheers.